I wonder when the collective hallucination on the boycott of Starbucks and McDonald's and stuff is going to stop. McDonald's isn't as hallucinatory as uh, Starbucks. I, I would, I mean, it, it, okay, in, in what way? They donated food to the IDF? Oh, okay, yeah. McDonald's is on the BDS pressure list. And I'm sure that, uh, you know, people on Twitter are equal in their, uh, you know, disavowal of all the companies that are on the BDS list. McDonald's, honestly. Where is that? Oh, yeah, I saw this. Man, I sure do hope this convinces the Starbucks baristas earning like $12 an hour to stop personally uplifting the IDF. How the f long do they? Just forever, I guess. Did you see the Indian 20 year old who threatened to kill their city council for not passing a ceasefire resolution in Bakersfield? You know, afraid that uh, Bakersfield's contribution to the Palestinian genocide continued to this day. Pretty sure the FDA would have caught that. That's what's in your coffee. That's what's in your tea. Enjoy your meal. Shame on you. Shame on you. Jesus Christ. <sighs> well, everyone in the f cafe is now pro-Israel, so these guys are cloud chasers, lol. Well, they do have their at, like, right here. Brendan Gutenschwager. Is, is, was that the older guy? He looks like a Brendan Gutenschwager to me. Maybe. I don't know. This is just noise, we shouldn't listen to it. Well, those those poor people in the cafe had to. They just post a lot of stuff here. So wait, are they not even present at all these events? Do they just like put their tag on everything that they get? A prayer for Ohio State Rep Jennifer Gr Wait, are they just putting their goddamn at on everything? Independent media on the scene documenting history. Footage licensing inquiries. Also on YouTube at, okay, wait, what was that? Walmart looted in Philadelphia three years ago. It's a Channel 5 Andrew Callahan clone thing. God, these, these they give me such bad vibes. Vosh, have you considered that I don't care? Oh, Garrett Main. Uh-oh. Whoopsies. Garrett Main has broken the one most important rule of VGG. I noticed your name too many times. Time out. Prison for Indian origin protester in Bakersfield, CA. Bakersfield born Riddhi Patel charged with 18 felonies. Holy shit. For threatening to murder members of Bakersfield City Council over ceasefire refusal. Hmm. Anti-Israel. F*** off. Every website, man. Riddhi Patel, 28, anti-Israeli protester arrested for threatening to murder lawmakers at a city council meeting. Oh, she did this at the meeting? You guys are all horrible human beings, Patel shouted, ending their diatribe with a threat. You guys want to criminalize us with metal detectors? We'll see you at your house. We'll murder you. Huh. Well, no surprise that she's in trouble then. You, uh, can't do that. Patel, who identifies as non-binary, was protesting the town council's decision to install metal detectors at City Hall at a public forum chaired by Mayor Karen Go- Wait, that was what she was here for? Then denounced lawmakers for refusing to support a ceasefire resolution? Is it that big of a deal to have metal detectors at City Hall? Like, I get not wanting them in schools because that's really disruptive to a young learning environment, but her speech? Okay. It's very clear to me as in someone who's been an organizer for the past couple of years that none of you care because you you guys don't care about anything happening in Palestine. Is this just more cloud chasing? No, this might be mental illness. <laughs> We'll see. Any other country where oppression occurs because you don't care about the oppression occurring here. And I understand that you guys No, are don't, don't skip. I didn't ask you to skip. Here we go. Ms. Patel. Ms. Patel. That was a threat. What Wait, you said at the end. That's, now we're at so the end. The officers are... 
someone who's been an organizer for the past couple of years, that none of you care because you, you guys don't care about anything happening in Palestine or any other country where oppression occurs because you don't care about the oppression occurring here. And I understand that you guys are all horrible people, but the thing is, 2,300 people being evicted in the last year, those are votes. And you guys- Man, I, I gotta say, man, it really is crazy how the like civil rights era riz of being able to endure unimaginable hardship, but still be smart and uh, sort of like selective and controlled in how you rebelled against it. It's a shame that's like gone now forever. Like every progressive or left-leaning cause just has to be a completely decentralized, just expulsion of energy in all directions with no central message or clear control, no discipline. It's gone forever. It's it's over. It's done. Everything now is being like led by thought leaders like TikTokers and YouTubers who direct their own little completely ineffective clout shark operations. Nah, panda panda. That shit would have been logged in like um in um in like court records, you know? I'm not saying that things were perfect back then. It was always like this. I don't believe that. I don't believe I think there has been a material change as as a consequence of um social media that has led to the atomization of these causes. It used to be if you heard about injustice in the world and you wanted messaging on how to deal with it, you had to go to an organization of some kind. You know, you had to go to there was some group that you wanted to join up with. Nowadays, with everything so decentralized, with social media dictating like entire alternate histories into people's minds, you know, there's no there's no like disciplined centralized action. It's never not been like this. No, 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 no. I maintain this, okay? I fully believe, okay, everyone's just saying it was always like this. I don't, I don't believe that, no. Social media has led to a change in the way we respond to these big, like, broad protesty, you know, these, these, these larger progressive causes. Those are votes to win here in Bakersfield. And while you, you guys parade Gandhi around as a Hindu holiday called Chaitra Navratri it starts off this week, I remind you that these holidays that we practice, that other people in the Global South practice, believe in violent revolution against their oppressors. And I hope one day somebody brings the guillotine and kills all of you mother well that's rhetoric the increased criminalization for no need other than you don't like when people come and hold you guys accountable for introducing ceasefire resolutions because the only escalation in violence has been by you all and so there's no need to continue in the again this is the bakersfield city council five years I've attended city council meetings there's never been metal detectors there's never been more cops the only reason you're doing it is because people actually don't care if you guys don't like them and they're actually resisting so you has this individual considered that by showing up to them and making death threats she's actually making a really good argument for metal detectors like if she had been carrying during this she could have done the threat she could have carried it out right here you want to criminalize them. So regardless of whether you elect people into office, they'll backstab you, they'll let you die. And for that reason, you guys want to criminalize us with metal detectors. We'll see. That's not that's not that's not criminalized. That's not what criminalizing means. That's not what criminalizing is. You at your house will murder you. Like again, like yeah, like what is the point of this? What like point are you trying to make? My opposite, like, she's literally saying, uh, you shouldn't put metal detectors down because I could just kill you outside City Hall. What? That's, that's not going to make them want to put the metal detectors down less. She's going to want to put them, they're, 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 they're going to want to put them down more now because of you. Like, why? <sighs> I wonder what YouTubers she likes. Or TikTokers. As someone in the Japanese Communist Party, you're totally correct. Yeah, all the people who are saying it's always been like this, I, I, I just, I don't think they know what they're talking about. They're like, again, there used to be organized militias. Leftist movements used to be groups of people that had leaders and organizations with central chapters in different cities. Nowadays, the most we have for that is the DSA, which is completely decentralized and barely influential when it comes to the broader, like, attitudes and behaviors of leftist discourse, you know? I don't think it's the same. People are getting more atomized and less centralized, and that's the case in every level of society, including protesting. No, Kirain, I think that's true to an extent. Yeah. Any practical suggestions for how to better organize? Nope, not my skill set. Next speaker, please. Next speaker. <laughs> Lance, followed by Kev, followed by Valeria. 
Ms. Patel, Ms. Patel, that was a threat, what you said at the end. And so the officers Do you are, think that was by design or just a coincidence? I, everything is getting more atomized. It's happening everywhere. We're going to escort you out and take care of that. Very spooky. Thank you, Republic World, for the spooky music. Thank you, thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is like the music that plays in a visual novel when you have to make a decision about who had the knife, you know? Oh, great. Thank you. Patel, whose public biography says she has a degree in neuroscience and enjoys holding elected officials accountable, I guess. The district attorney told uh, Bakersfield.com that council members Bob Smith and Eric Arias are not considered victims because they did not feel the two, the two Chad City councilmen just staring, mewing, uh, completely unaffected. You know, it's not a crime unless their feelings get hurt. Uh, that's funny. What's your favorite hobby holding elected officials accountable? I mean, to be fair, going down there and making death threats at city councilmen does indicate a greater degree of commitment to that than most would, uh, you know, than most would. They're just standing there saying, nah, I'd win. I'd simply dodge the bullet. Yeah. On Friday, Patel appeared in court and tearfully pled not guilty. Really? Did she not know? Okay. She was caught in 4K. No, that courtroom camera was not 4K. Okay, let's not overstate it. The Japanese Communist Party has specific publications and resources for how to act at protests, rallies, and events. We spend lots of effort and educate our members in the law, what actions are legal and illegal, how to talk to the police, how to interact with them, what sort of language to use in public statements, etc. There are written guides and also regular publications that list. If you told your average Western leftist that in order to be a member of a leftist group, they would need to have like an understanding of the law and they, knew, they would need to be like disciplined and structured in their responses to uh, others during a protest. They would call you an oppressor and make a counter org. There is so much opposition to discipline as a virtue in the Western left that it's actually insane. It was always bad and now it's cooked. Yeah. 